In this video, I'm going to go over how to use flex pitch to turn audio to MIDI to expand your sample library. First step, we're going to open up the loop browser and Logic Pro. Uh, now, when we're doing this, audio to MIDI works best with monophonic sounds. So think of an individual bass line or a vocal line or a piano riff. Uh, so we're not going to get anything too complex or anything with chords in it. So I'm going to go to instrument. I'm going to click on bass. I'm going to find me a nice bass loop. Uh, let's do hip hop bass. All right. So let's see this flow bass. Okay, we're gonna double click on this region. Now once this is open, we're gonna go right here, this thing that looks like the infinity symbol or a bow tie, we're gonna click on that to turn on flex. So it's gonna give us a pop-up dialog, we're gonna select turn on flex. Next thing we do, we're gonna come here to our flex algorithms. So right now it's on slicing mode. So you have all these different flex time features and then you have flex pitch. We're going to select flex pitch. All right, now it analyzes it. Now what we're going to do, we're going to we're going to go to edit and we're going to select analyze audio for flex editing. After we do that, we're going to go back to edit and we're going to do create MIDI track from flex pitch data. And so once it does that, you can see if we zoom in, you can see that the hit of each bass note in the blue audio region, you can see that those are occurring the same times in these green MIDI regions. So now that we have our MIDI region, we're going to select it, press Command U to put that in cycle mode. We're going to mute the original bass loop. All right, so it's playing back the, the exact same melody, the same notes and everything. So now what we have is the ability to now come in here, pick a different instrument to play that same melody. So let's go to piano. Let's hear what a Yamaha grand piano sounds like with these same notes. Cool. So now let's hear what that sounds like with the bass line. Okay, so as we can see from this video, using flex pitch to create MIDI tracks from audio data can be great for layering if you want to add some more oomph um, or bottom to a particular bass line or melody line. It can also be used to just create new ideas. And that's it for flex pitch creating MIDI from audio data.